Glory to Jesus Christ. Jesus. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us glory in the cross of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the precious and life-bearing cross, to those who believe the wisdom and power of God, and to those who do not believe foolishness. But today we set up the cross in our midst, as Samuel set up the Ebenezer stone, as a stone of help, as a stone of thanksgiving, as a trophy of victory. For the cross is set in our midst as a trophy of victory. That symbol of shame and defeat and death has become a trophy of our victory, a trophy of Christ's victory over the powers of darkness and over the gates of Hades. For death has been dispelled and the demons have been cast down. The same Basil the Great says the demons are cast down and are now earthbound. They no longer inhabit the air. The cross is the key that has opened the gates of paradise to mankind again. And in the midst of our sufferings and struggling in this life, in the midst of the burdens that we carry and the sorrows and grief, we look upon the cross as a symbol of joy, as a symbol of the love of God for mankind. And the cross set up before us gives us new strength to endure. Because the cross of Christ itself is the thing that we've been struggling for all this time. In the Garden of Eden it is said that true trees grew there. And both these trees were but a prophecy about the cross of Christ. For on the cross we saw the true meaning of good and evil, the true division between light and darkness. And on the cross we saw the tree of life brought forth and understood that Jesus Christ is the fruit of the tree of life and the cross has become for us the tree of life. And in Holy Communion we receive the fruit of the tree of life unto everlasting life. Today, not just forgiveness, but the healing of our alienation has shone forth from the cross. For Jesus Christ has reunited those things which before were separate. As a good physician, St. Basil the Great says, he knits our bones together and heals our bodies. So our Lord Jesus Christ, the great physician, has united those things which are for were separate, that is, God and man. For man had alienated himself from God, and today on the cross, Christ has healed that alienation. So the cross is also a symbol of our reunion with God through Jesus Christ. That God has carried our human nature to the cross and crucified the flesh with its weaknesses and failings and sins. And on the third day he raised up that same human, that same flesh and blood, that same human nature, and ascended into heaven, and reunited God and man and healed our alienation. The cross is the bridge between earth and heaven. And on the cross all things, as he says in the gospel, were fulfilled. Therefore, a jot and tittle of the law have passed away, because all things have been fulfilled. When Christ cries out, it is finished. Not only is the mission finished, but the law is finished, it has passed away, and the age of grace has dawned upon mankind. And we've been placed under the promise and not under the law. Let us glorify Christ today as we venerate his cross, as we venerate that boundary between light and darkness, as we venerate that revelation of the true meaning of good and evil, and as we venerate the trophy of victory and everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Amen.